Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another print quality test video. Today we got the Canon G3260 and we are going to be uh, printing off some photos, printing off a document so that you're able to see the print quality that this printer is able to yield. Of course, this is a mega tank printer, which means that it's a bottled ink based printer versus a cartridge uh, ink based printer. And so you're going to be able to yield a lot more pages and a lot more pictures if that's what you're looking to do. Now what I'm using here is the RayQ extender. If you have a newer MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, you're going to need this if you want to connect directly. However, I am the one that does this. I don't think anyone else does this. I do this for the sake of the video to connect quickly, uh, but you can connect wirelessly. However, if you did want to connect this way for whatever reason, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for the RayQ extender. And I'm also going to leave a link for a MacBook Pro. If you want to get yourself one, I highly recommend this computer. It does great. All the presets you're going to see here for the photos are exclusively on this laptop, the MacBook uh, Pro or Air versions. So if you have a Dell, you're going to have to look up uh, how to adjust the presets if you don't already know how to. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, there will be links in the description below for products I end up talking about, such as the ones I just mentioned. So keep an eye out for those. If you have any questions at all, comment below. But right now, we're going to be printing off a document. Unfortunately, this printer does not do double-sided printing. So what you see here is one-sided printing. This is a highly requested uh, part of this video uh, just to be able to hear how it, the printer sounds when it's printing off documents. Uh, so we include this in here. So you want to know the difference between regular paper, copy paper, which is what we're using here to print on this, uh, print out this document, and the photo paper that we're going to be using for the photos that we end up printing. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for this photo paper. But I've chosen three different pictures that we're going to be printing off today. Now, look, pay attention to the presets and how I'm adjusting everything. You want to do something similar to this if you don't have a MacBook. There has to be a version of this on a, your Dell or whatever other computer you're using to be able to adjust the preset to photo on photo paper because that is in fact what you're doing. And then you want to adjust everything else so that the photo comes out exactly how you want it to. You could be using an app on your smartphone and that could give you all the presets or it could be directly from the uh, printer itself and you have to adjust the presets that way. And of course, this is the uh, photo paper that I am using uh, that is linked below. Since we're in the middle of the spring season, I figured I would throw in some botanical garden type pictures with a lot of flowers, a lot of, uh, that'll add a lot of different color, which you do want to test when you're printing, you know, various different colors and how they do. So you're seeing for yourself on screen the quality, but I can tell you in person, uh, this quality was good. It was flawless. You didn't really have any lines or streaks, which was great. I will say that it was a little slower than usual than what I've seen on other printers uh, printing these photos. It did take a little extra time, so that's one thing you will have to consider. Uh, I like to do the pros and cons of the when we're doing the print quality test so that we get right down to uh, what you really need to know. And of course, in this picture, you have a lot of green. This, I'm assuming, is in Brazil because you have... Uh, the Christ statue that is at the top of the mountain. You can see, I believe the name of the statue is Christ the Redeemer. And of course, we like to travel the world here at Best Printers. And so we'll take you to Brazil. We'll take you to Guatemala. We even go to Italy. We go to Spain. Uh, we go to Switzerland. You know, I might just do that with uh, future videos is do a different country each time. It actually would be pretty interesting. Uh, but I do like to get some well-rounded pictures in here with a lot of color because you want to see the different colors. You want to see the greens, you want to see the blues, and then you want to see the rainbow, which is going to be the next picture, which has all the colors 
Sometimes I don't do that with certain print quality tests. So you are going to see a pretty well-rounded print quality test here with this printer. Now, if you don't already own this printer and you're watching this video, there will be a link for this printer that you can go to so you can make a purchase, check pricing, do whatever it is you need to do. Of course, if you already have this printer, you may be looking to get some uh, more affordable ink, which I will provide a link to as well for some remanufactured ink. I highly recommend you use remanufactured ink simply because it's just liquid ink. There's no cartridge, uh, there's no uh, chip, so you're not going to have really any confusion with the printer. You're just you know, pouring in ink. You should be completely fine, whether it's remanufactured, whether it's Canon, whether it's HP. It doesn't really matter. It's just ink at the end of the day. So hopefully you can get a good deal through that link. It's going to be under remanufactured Canon ink, and I'm going to provide that in the description below. So a lot of product links for your convenience down there in the description below. So I do believe this picture was taken in Hawaii. It's, it's beautiful. You got a lot of different flowers and you've got a waterfall in the background. You know, this is something that would be really nice in your backyard. Maybe you can talk to your landscaper and maybe they can install this, you know, you know, makeshift waterfall and set this up in your backyard. I don't know. You know, we like to give landscaping advice here on this channel as well. So ho hopefully you find that helpful. Uh, no, but all jokes aside, uh, this was a lot of color, a lot of depth in here. Uh, I couldn't expect much better from the quality. Canon is usually going to do really well with photos, and in this case, uh, they've done really well once again. I hope this video ended up being helpful to you. If it was, please make sure to like. If you want more content like this, please, please subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, or if you have any commentary as far as the process I've done here, please make sure to comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.